Hi, I'm Piet van der Westeisen, director of the Gilmore, and I'm so excited to welcome you to tonight's live stream performance, coming to you here from the Wellspring Theater in downtown Kalamazoo, Michigan. We're so excited you're here. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Honigman Law Firm. Without you, we could not do this. Please stay tuned for our season announcement in August. We have a really exciting season coming up and we'd like you to join us again. And now I'd like to thank and welcome our musicians, Matthew Fries on piano, John Hebert on bass, and Keith Hall on drums. Enjoy.
Great. Thank you so much. I know you're clapping somewhere. Um, I'm going to pretend that there's, there, you're all right here and I can, all, I can hear you all. Um, this is kind of a strange experience for us um, for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, because you're not right here with us and we can't really feel that energy. But we're going to trust that, that you're there and you're listening and you're tuning in and, um, and we're playing our hearts out for you. The other thing that's really strange about this is that we just haven't gotten to play music for you know three or four months like so many musicians um, in the world um, dealing with this pandemic. Um, so this is an incredible opportunity for us uh, to get to play together. I'm going to take a real quick moment and just introduce these guys right away. Here on bass, one of the greatest bass players in Kalamazoo and the world. This is John Bear on bass. Uh, and over there on drums is the great Keith Hall on drums. These guys are uh, both on faculty with me at Western Michigan University, and it's kind of an, an extra amazing thrill to get to really be around these guys and work with these guys as much as I get to. Um, and so hopefully you're hearing a little bit of that relationship in what we're doing today. Um, that first tune was a tune that I wrote um, entitled Loop the Loop. Um, and it's spelled L-O-U-P, like the French for wolf. And I don't speak French, so loop. Something like that. Um, I used to play at a restaurant in New York, uh, a weekly gig with um, a great bass player, uh, Steve Laspina, and a great guitarist, Ron Afif. And I wrote this tune for them originally. It, uh, the place was called Cafe Loop, and that's hence the name. Um, we're going to continue with, actually, it's going to be a whole bunch of my music, and I hope you're OK with that. Um, we're going to continue with the tune that I wrote really recently. This is one kind of inspired by the whole lockdown and the whole pandemic and the sensation of kind of, and you probably know how this is, how every day is kind of the same. Like we wake up and w is it Tuesday, is it Wednesday? It's so hard to know because our routine is so messed up and it's, we're kind of stuck where we are and spinning our wheels. Um, so I was kind of thinking about that sensation. I tried to write something um, that kind of has a little bit of the sensation of you, the beginning becomes the end and the end becomes the beginning and you can't, and the phrases are a little bit, across each other, um, and hopefully it captures a little bit of that sensation of just being in, in the motion of things, and I call this one continuum.
Great bass solo there from uh, John Hebert. That was um, a tune of mine called Continuum. That was a lot of fun. Um, we're going to continue with another pretty new tune. Um, I guess I wrote this some just within the last year or two. Um, and it's very slippery, uh, so it gives us a little bit of a workout after having a few months off. So this is, this is great. This will be a lot of fun. Um, and it's a tune that I call Ladders.
I just want to say thank you for people applauding, but I can't, I can't hear you. So I hope that you're commenting in all the live stream business, because I'm going to go and check and, and read everything, um, see what you're saying. Hopefully it's nice. Please say nice things. I really don't need any more bad news. <laughs> um, we're going to continue with a blues. It's a, still a tune that I wrote. The, um, uh, this is one that I kind of um, I dedicated to the great jazz pianist Ray Bryant um, for no particular reason except that I love him very much. Um, he was a big, big influence on my playing. Um, and this is one that I call Positive Attitude.
Okay, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, whew, yes, yeah, you, you really can't play a, a jazz gig without playing a blues in there somewhere. So now that we've checked that off the list, um, we're going to continue uh, with another tune that I wrote. This is, um, I set out to write a tune in the meter of 6-8. Um, so I wrote six and eight across the top of the page and wrote a tune and never got around to changing the title. So um, it's still called Six and Eight, and that's a really great reason for it. Um, and this is a tune that um, we have played together with uh, the uh, Western Jazz Collective, the faculty ensemble at Western Michigan University. Um, we actually did uh, one of those virtual, you know, like the little pictures in the, all in the, in, the, in the frame at one time, and we all remote recorded our parts. Um, during, the, during this lockdown. Um, that was as close as we came to getting to make music for a lot of months there. So, um, so that was there. This one is also um, going to be coming out on a record that I hope is coming out later this summer, um, a duo record that I recorded with a bassist named Phil Palumbi. Um, that's, this tune is on there as well. Um, but now you're going to get to hear us play it, and this is going to be great. Uh, this is entitled Six and Eight. Thank you. 
six and eight, like promised. It was in the meter of six, eight, I think, or three, four. Um, I never, I go, I'm, a, I'm a professor of music and I'm always a little cloudy on, on those two numbers, but. Um, we've, <laughs> okay, you can tell it's been a little while since we've, we've gotten to play together. I'm just kind of losing my mind up here. Um, we've done an entire set so far of originals, original music of mine. Um, I was thinking about a ballad to play um, and I kind of was uh, chatting with Keith, Keith Hall over there on drums, um, about some ideas, and I said, well, what about playing this James Williams tune that we both love very much? And he was like, oh, what a great idea. Um, what we didn't know is th probably within an hour later, someone had posted on Facebook, posted this tune um, commenting on the fact that it had been exactly 16 years since James Williams passed away. Um, an amazing pianist, an amazing composer, um, just a force of nature on the jazz scene in New York. Um, he was so giving to so many young musicians. Um, he, um, he was really kind of the one who gave me, you know, got me started in New York. I moved to New York not knowing anybody, um, but his, the, my teacher in Knoxville, Tennessee, Donald Brown, was buddies with his, and once I got there, he's like, oh, Come on in, you're, you're part of our, our team. And he, um, he took me around, introduced me to people, got me on gigs, recommended me for, for all kinds of stuff. I would get calls in the middle of the afternoon, oh, Matthew, what are you doing this afternoon? Come down to Avatar Studios. I'm doing a session with Stanley Turntin. I'd love for you to meet him. Okay, I'll be there. So he was, and he was always connecting people and he was always, um, he was always that way. Um, it's a beautiful ballad and I would, you know, in, in light of all of the stressful stuff that we are dealing with um, as a nation and as people in this world and this country, um, you know, from this pandemic that is just really pushing us to the brink of, of sanity in a lot of ways, um, to the, um, the, this incredible momentum that has come up behind the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, unfortunately, um, as a result of some horrible things, the, the death of George Floyd and, and so many others that just should not happen. This is just ridiculous that we're in 2020 and we're still here. Um, but I am just continually impressed by the young people around us, um, especially being an educator at university, seeing our students really step up and take charge and kind of put things in perspective for us old coots. Um, and um, it's really important that we listen to them and we get behind them and we, this is going to be their world um, and we need to fix some stuff. So, um, anyway, so putting all this together, I think, you know, we just need more James Williamses in our world. Mm. You know, we need more people who just love people and want to share and want to connect people and want to do the good thing. Um, so this is a tune that James appropriately titled, Take Time for Love. And I hope we can all do that.
Well, we're coming up on that time. We've got one more tune for you this evening. Um, before we play it, I want to say a couple of thank yous. Of course, we need to give a huge thank you to the Gilmore, um, Pierre, and the gang here for um, keeping this festival alive in spite, in spite, of, uh, in spite of a total lockdown. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's just so much amazing music that happens here. It's, it's kind of amazing. I moved here from New York City, and you know, there's, it's just incredible what I get to hear and see live right down the street from my house. Um, so I'm so thankful that they're here. And I'm extra, extra thankful that they invited us to be here as well. So um, thank you for letting us share our music with you guys and sharing our music with your audience. Um, so please, please do what you can to support uh, the Gilmore and live music, just live music in general. There are a lot of musicians and organizations like this that are going to go away if we don't um, really take care of them. So um, do what you can. If you, um, you, know, you see a musician on the street, maybe just give them a, a subway token or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> they don't have subway tokens anymore. I know. Um, so, um, and also, um, I know I put a little list here because I knew I was going to forget people. Um, I want to thank these guys. Um, these are two of the most amazing musicians I've ever gotten to work with, and they also live right here in Kalamazoo, and they work with me at Western Michigan University, and I am so honored to get to share the stage and share any, any moment with these guys. Over there on drums is the great Keith Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and right here on the bass is the great John Hebert. And um, I love these guys to death, and they make my music sound good. So there we go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I do want to say one other quick thank you. Um, originally for the Gilmore Festival, um, they had asked Keith and I to come and play with our group, TriFi. Uh, we were supposed to perform in May. Um, and then when everything fell apart, they brought us back and we kind of assembled this trio. Um, I mentioned uh, Phil Palumbi earlier. He's the third member of TriFi. He would have been here in May, so he might be watching. I'm just going to wave at the cameras and say, <laughs> hey, hey, Phil, sorry. Sorry you're not here, but we got John. So no, I'm just totally kidding. <laughs> Um, and also, um, John was going to be here as well, ironically. Um, he was going to be playing with the great Fred Hirsch trio. Fred Hirsch is one of my favorite pianists in the entire universe, um, and the fact that he would have been here, um, and the fact that we didn't get to see him here, um, is, you know, that kind of breaks my heart, but um, we got John. So, so this is kind of a bit of a, a, mi a mashup of a couple of different bands that were supposed to be at the festival, um, and uh, it's been really fun. We're going to finish up. Did I forget anything? You're looking at me like I might have. Okay. I'm good? Cool. We got one more tune for you. This is uh, another tune that I wrote, um, that I wrote originally for that band, TriFi. This is the opening track on our most recent record, um, and it'll be our closer tonight. And it's entitled Open Water. Thank you so much for tuning in um, and sticking with us, and hope to see you soon.